looking live at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Defending national champion Alabama battles Michigan and quarterback Denard Robinson, one of the most electric stars in college football. A standing room only crowd awaits this early season showdown on Saturday Night Football. Well, A.J. McCarron underwent off-season shoulder surgery. That shoulder popped out in an SEC game against Arkansas. In the next play, he threw a touchdown after a, a fake field goal. Lacey the running back. And a much better result as they start the second series here, Herbie. There's a young man in this game that Bama folks have been waiting to see. T.J. Yeldon. Play fake to him. McCarron. On the roll, throws complete to the 43 yard line, and that was to Kenny Bell. There's Barrett Jones, the out and trophy winner. His third position as a starter in that offensive line. McCarron again play action, coming back again, and Bell, and they go right back to the same spot. This time, instead of working the sideline, they had him run the quick post. And Irby, now they're trying. Raymond Taylor has had a couple of plays in that secondary. And here he's yelled in the freshman. Look out to the 15 and a first and 10 Bama. That was an electric burst through that hole. From Daphne, Alabama, right outside Mobile. Coming to the right side. Patient. Picks his way. And he's to the nine. Charleston Fowler is the lead back in front of the freshman. Yeldon, middle. Jones blows it open. And he's to the five-yard line. So after three and out, Herbie, this now is the ninth play of this ground. Going to throw for it. Got it. Touchdown! They go to the big tight end. Michael Williams with the first touchdown of this game. Christian Jones, remember he was driven back by Hogrup on that first punt. Fields this one on the 22-yard line. Looking for a seam, and he is brought down at the 33-yard line. Second down and 10. Fowler is now the running back behind McCarron. And they'll run the big fella. He breaks the daylight. Out to midfield. So they'll keep Fowler in that high back spot. May continue to throw on first down. Sideline. Got him open. Daniel White. Touchdown, Bama. 51 yards, and folks, the tide rolling early. Can, can these backs tonight who are in uniform, can they take that same pressure and help Al Borges and take the pressure off of Denard Robinson? He's beaten Saban a couple of times, but he had Auburn's offensive personnel. Nothing doing again, and there is a penalty flag thrown late. And right now, this Bama defense is doing an outstanding job of having an impact on Denard Robinson feeling comfortable in the pocket. Going down the right sideline, the receiver, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45 by Milner. 40, 35, 30. Milner breaks the daylight. They send one star after another to the NFL. They just reload. The trainers down there with the young man may have suffered a shoulder injury here in the first quarter against Bama after an interception. Fowler, the running back, picks his way. And let's go quickly now to Heather Cox. Brent, as Denard Robinson came over to the bench, he called over Devin Gardner, the backup quarterback and also the wide receiver. No official word on whether or not Denard can play, but certainly an indication based on the fact that he called Devin his backup over. Now, Devin's been taking about half his splits at practice, his reps at practice this week at receiver, and half at quarterback. We'll see when they get the ball back who goes in. And you know, they may choose the youngster who, number eight, is also yeah, Russell down there. And Eddie Lacy 
checks in as the Bama running back. Touchdown, Alabama. And yet, this defense tonight, because they understand the scheme up to this point, they're attacking and playing with a great deal of confidence and showing that same physicality that we've seen the last four or five years from Bama's defense. Second down, Smith hit in the backfield to follow up on what Herbie said. Everybody take a look at the talent that was lost. Three first round draft choices off the defense, plus running back Trent Richardson. Here comes to Blitz off to the left here. Third down and 10. Throwing long, incomplete. And it will be fourth down. That's D. Milner again who made that interception. And the Outland Trophy winner a year ago, Barry Jones, is now eyeing the Remington Trophy as the top center. Remember, he was the left tackle a year ago. Only one player, Greg Esslinger, in 2005 from Minnesota, has won both the Outland and the Remington the same year. And here comes the freshman Yeldon, breaking the tackle. First down, running to daylight, midfield, 40, 35, 30, stumbles. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. What do we have here? And then I said, now if you're coming back and I'm chasing you down and I lo lower the boom on you, according to a lot of officials, that's just football. That's a good hard hit. There are going to be some violent collisions. TJ Yeldon checks back in. He's a good receiver. Here he comes. Screen pass down the sideline. Got an alley. And he's to the eight-yard line. Thomas Gordon makes the stop for the Wolverines. McCarron, so McCarron's the, the holder here. They switched it. <laughs> <laughs> AJ ran a fake field goal for a touchdown against Arkansas, but Nick would like to take a look at his field goal team this year. 24 nothing. Bama in complete command of this Cowboy Classic. Yeah, they forced a punt on the three and out. I was glad to hear him say they have great unity on the Jets because they're going to need it. <laughs> no truer words were ever spoken. <laughs> they are going to need it. Way, Best him if he's not the starter. Best Stir up that quarterback controversy <laughs> in the big ass. Best fuck with that. <laughs> Here's Gallon. Going to be down inside. Remember the ball's the thing. And it was down. <laughs> How about Sanceri, one of the starting safeties and the son of the defensive coordinator of Tennessee, down the ball at the one foot line. Now, do you remember who the star, the real star of that Alabama offense was? Yes, the running back, Alexander. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the bonus question. Oh, I got a bonus question for you on that game. Here we go now. On third down and nine. Into the middle, intercepted. Picked off. Touchdown, C.J. Mosley. Remember, he picked Jefferson in the BCS championship game. All these new faces. Look at Bama shifting there. Second down, seven yards to go. Denard is back again to pass. Going to throw it deep. Got Gallon open. Put it in his hands. Gallon toward the end zone, just short of it. Down at the one yard line. Sanceri finally bringing him down, but it's a 71 yard gain and a little bit of Robinson magic here. And Gallon was close to scoring before that penalty. So it'll be first and goal from right there. Roy Roundtree, very quiet, is off to the left of the formation. Denard picks his way, cuts back toward the end zone, waiting for the signal. Touchdown, Michigan! After an interception, he threw his shoulder in. Him. So here we go. Foster to kick it off. And the return man is Northlake, and he has been busy. 
feet wide to the right and he is down at about the 22 as we take a look at the Pacific Life game summary with all the numbers in Bama's favor. Well, <laughs> is that balance? Now they need 12 yards as a result of it. Blitz fires off of it to that spot. Great pickup by Denard Robinson and Dilio makes it out to the 40 yard line. They stack three to the right. And Denard runs out of it, but he is short of the first down as Bama comes up. Lester was coming in on the pressure. Where are you going to send game day? Where am I going to send game day, huh? <laughs> Two great uh, choices there with the Missouri first SEC game and AM's first SEC game. Bama with a completion. And Norwood breaks away and turns it into a huge gain. What a great run. So they've got a first and 10 from the 48 yard line. There's a handoff to Yeldon, the freshman. And he crosses midfield. I could join you, you on oh, ESPN for an afternoon game. Afternoon. Because NASCAR is right That's here right. on uh, ABC. Right. So there we are. Florida, Texas AM, 330 Eastern on ESPN. Here's Yeldon, the freshman. He was spectacular in the first half. He is just one step away, folks, every time. And Herbie Warmack, he played on two BCS championship teams, as did Barrett Jones, who's snapping the ball. Anthony Steen, Fluker, and Quanjo are the tackles on this line. Oh, McCarron sacked for the first time, and it was big Will Campbell. That's big. That, 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 I think of all the games played this weekend, that's the game where a team was going to win, had the most to gain, and the team that lost had the most to lose. So a lot at stake in Atlanta, in my opinion. Clemson gets out of there with a win. That would be big. Third and 22 for Bama. Here comes the blitz. Snaps it off complete. Breaking the tackle. And that's Amari Cooper. The freshman from Miami's Northwestern High School. And he could have a tremendous future. You're right about Amari Cooper, though. You can just see him. He has got a great future. Herbie Foster is going to try a long field goal. He, he's the long man now for uh, the Crimson Tide. That's a 52 yarder. Slips to the left. How dominating it's been is a, a bit of a surprise. What is 71 yards of the 158 total on one play? One play. This quarterback draw. Here comes number 16 looking for daylight, and he's got some speed. So he finally danced and got outside. Thomas Rawls now in a big third down here, folks. He's the running back alongside Denard. I'm sure Bama's going to keep an eye on 16 if he tries to keep it himself. They're going to run the option. Pitch it. Here's Rawls. Can he get there? No, because Sinceri unloads on the running back. Number three did his job. He had the pitch man, Herbie. Fourth and three. Smith's your running back. Michigan to go for it. Fumble. Fumble of snap. Takes off. Broken play. Going to go outside. Reaches for it. They get it down it and give him the first down, I believe. They yes, sure they are. are. Well, first things first, Denard Robinson moments ago was being helped off the field because of the injury. And then instant replay turned the fourth down run over. And Herbie, tell everybody why. Well, watch his right elbow as he extends. If it's the front of his elbow, he's okay. It's the back of his elbow. And therefore, they called him down right there. Replay called him down there. And T.J. Yeldon, the freshman, who has 81 yards rushing, is behind A.J. McCarron. Looking for a 100-yard game in his first appearance. Burst to the 40-yard line. His backs are five, six, seven yards downfield before they got to worry about a Michigan defender. Yeldon needs six more yards for 100. Get battling for it. I believe he has it right now. This would be a 51-yard attempt. Bangs it. Got the distance. Got it. Second down and 10. Here comes Smith. 
Hawk sweeping to the left. Down the sideline he goes. Crossing midfield. Boy, he walked the tightrope over there. Wasn't sure he could stay in bound. Yeah, exactly. Mickey had a fine major league career. And congratulations to Coach Frank Solich. Did a great job with that Ohio team in that upset of Penn State. Second down now. Here's a play action. Rolls a running back. Goes down side. Got Gardner wide open. Got him. Touchdown, Michigan. Devin Gardner converted from quarterback to wide receiver. And that play really showed you why he's got some speed. Now it's still mistaken judgment in our opinion, uh, Heather. He was he was already alongside him. Christian Jones actually moved up on that punt. There's the completion and underneath, and that's Johnson, one of the H backs, making his first appearance. And Bama on the move again. The Ducks. <laughs> I think they got a little old school going tonight. <laughs> there is Fowler banging, crushing that defensive line, bringing the seconds off the clock. Tyler Wilson, and that'll be a bigger now, challenge for Saban's sure secondary than what they face tonight against the running and throwing quarterback in Denard Robinson and uh, Fowler. What a hammer. Bringing him against a tired defensive line now. But with his head not turned around, that's pass interference every time. Here comes Fowler. Battling toward the end zone. Just short of it. But I agree with you about Michigan. They are in the early stages of building this program back up with some good recruiting classes. This would have been a much better game two or three years down the road. Yeldon for his first touchdown. T.J. Yeldon. Daphne, Alabama with a 100-yard game. And now his first Bama touchdown. First win. It'll take him some time down sure. there, but he's going to get it done down there. You watch and see. So Bellamy is in at quarterback. Here's the young man from Arlington, Texas. High juggle diving interception. His first pass is picked off by one of the Alabama reserves. See if he can get off to a better start than Washington State and Mike Leach. That was oh, a tough yeah. one. So Ely hands the ball off. And they have emptied the bench. Kenyon Drake is that. He applauds. Good job as he turns There's around. The flag. Nice job. job. Heather's going to get a couple of chuckles out of Coach Saban, maybe. 41 14. There he is. Brady and Nick, good friends. AJ McCarron, Heather Cox is on the pursuit. <laughs> 41 14. Bama wins its opener. Yeah, how about the performance and by the freshman? Yeldon with 111 yards and a touchdown. So once again, our final score, 41-14 Bama. Next week on ESPN at a special time, 3.30 Eastern. We're in Florida, takes on SEC newcomer Texas A&M. Thanks for watching ESPN Saturday Night Football on ABC. ESPN, the home of the Discover BCS National Championship game. Bama rolling again. Now we take you to the studio for the Ford wrap-up, and here's Robert Flores. Robert?